Hello, welcome to my channel, Math with Mrs. O. I'm Ophelia Orate, a principal owner of a school, a math teacher, and an author of 21 math books. Our lesson for today is work problems on percent. Percent means per hundred. First problem is a book sale sold for 112 books. This comprises 82% of all their books. Approximately how many books did they have in all? So, we let X be all their books. We let this be our X. Total number of books. This is number, not hashtag. <laughs> okay, and then we have 412 books. This 412 books, it says in the problem, comprises 82% of all their books. So this is 82% times x. So 412 is 82 per 100 or 82% of all the books. So how many books did they have in all? So you need to isolate X here. So we have here 412 equals 82 per 100 times X. To we'll isolate X, we have to multiply both sides by 100 over 82. So to the left and to the right. 100 over 82. So we cancel this and cancel this. You get x is equal to there. For 112 times 100 by 82, you can um, simplify this by 2. 82 by 2 is 41. 412 by 2 is 206 there can you still simplify 206 and 41 not anymore so you'll have here 206 times 100 you just put two zeros over 41 equals x and now here let's divide 20,600 by 41, we get 206 divided by 41. That is approximately 5. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 4 is 20. There. Subtract. 6 minus 5 is 1. This is now 0. Bring down 10. 10 divided by 41 cannot be, so you have 0 there. Bring down 100 again. 100 divided by 41 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8. You have 82. 100 minus 82 is 8. But this is... 10 minus 2 is 8, rather 9 minus 8 is 1, that's 18. 18, so we put a decimal point here and bring down 0 again. 180 divided by 41, let us approximate. Do we have 4 here? 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 4 is 16, there. But wait, we have to stop. Because we're talking about books. Can we have 0.4 books? No. So therefore, we, we can now finalize that we have approximately 502 books in all. So we go back. Our final answer is letter B. I hope you understood that we cannot have 0.4 books. So. We have to finalize our answer to be 502 books.
Let's move on to problem number two. A bag originally priced at $400 is on sale with a discount of 30%. How much is the discount? So in this problem, there are two ways of solving it. The first one is the discount is equal to the price, $400, times the discount, which is 30%. And 30% is 30 per 100. We know that 400 is just 400 over 1. So you can now cancel this. 400 divided by 100 is 4. There, you're left with 4. Therefore, 4 times 30 is 0. 4 times 3 is 12, $120. Or the discount using decimal is equal to 400 times 30% means 30 per 100 or 0.30. Multiply this to, so 400 times 0.30. We have here 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4 times 3 is 12. There, 1, 2 point, 1, 2 point. So you also you also get $120. So you can use fraction or decimal. So our final answer here is letter B, $120. Next question, how much are you going to pay the cashier? Remember, you will pay the cashier here by subtracting the discount, which is 120, from the original price, which is 400. So you get here zero. Zero minus two cannot be. Bar one, it becomes 10. This becomes three. 10 minus two is eight. And three minus one is two. So you will pay the cashier $280. Now, if you want to take a shortcut and you are not asked to find the discount, you can go straight. 400 is the total price, which is 100%. Less the discount, which is 30%. 100% minus 30% is 70%. Meaning, you will pay the cashier 70% of the original price. So you can go straight. Therefore, here you will have $400 times 0.70 or 0.7. This will give you one, two, three, one, two, three zeros. Seven times four is 28. And there are two decimal places, one, two point, one, two point, you still get $280. So it's up to you to choose which solution you think is best for you or is easier for you. Let's move on to problem number three. Okay, let's move on to the third problem. Let me read it first. The price of a bag was reduced from $300 to $210. What is the rate of decrease? Okay. The price was from 300 to 210. So we subtract this. We get 90. This is the decrease in the price. Now we're asking the question, what is the rate of decrease? So 90 is what percent of the price 300 that is practically the question that we're asking so here we have 90 equals what percent per hundred of times 
300 there. So we have here 90 equals, we can now cancel this. 300 divided by 100 is 3 there. This is obviously 1. So 3 times x is 3x. Then, to leave x here alone, we divide both sides by 3. So we get here x is equal to, there we cancel the 3, x is equal to 90 divided by 3 is 30. Therefore, the rate of decrease is 30%. So our answer is letter C. In problem number 4, we have here, in a class of 40 students, comma, 4 are girls. How many percent are girls? So, we're asking the question, 4, 4 girls, is what percent of the total number of 40 there so we have 4 equals what what we don't know and it's unknown percent per hundred of times 40 there so you can now cancel the zero here and the zero here you're left with 4 is equal to x over 10 times 4. To isolate x here, we can multiply this by 10 over 4, left and right, and 10 over 4. Why? Because this will cancel with 4, 10 cancels with 10, it means we're getting 1 in all there times x that will leave you 1x or x take note here that 1x is simply x so 4 again cancels with 4 you're left with 10 so the answer is 10 so how many percent are girls 10 percent are girls before we end let us remember to add kindness, subtract judgment, multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Click the subscribe button. Thank you.